What up? My name is Jade Fox, and this is the Major Looks channel. And today, we purging. Let the purge comments. So I've been doing like spring cleaning a lot this week, and I have just decided it's time to let it's time to let some of these go. Sneakers. I got boots, um, and it's a lot. So I'm gonna explain to y'all what made me buy them and what's making me want to give them away. Stay tuned. This video, along with every video, is also sponsored by Patreon. My Patreon is only $5 a month. If you want to support me or support the content on this channel, $5 a month, link is in the description. Uh, let's, get, let's go ahead and get started. So let's start off with these boots. So these boots are a, boots, a pair of boots that I got at the very end of my like ASOS obsession. They are, I want to say that these are dupes of a designer I just can't tell you which designer that that is uh, it features like a really chunky sole and it's actually I wore these out I wore these shoes out it makes no sense to me how clean they still look um, speaking of by the way pretty much all these are gonna be posted on my Poshmark so if you're interested in buying these uh, go ahead and tune into my Poshmark if you don't want to wait for me to upload them onto Poshmark Send me a DM, let me know which pair you want, um, and I'll tell you the price and all that. This was like my first introduction to like any type of shoe that was a little outside of what I normally went with. It's got, this has a bit of an edgier kind of aesthetic in my opinion, especially for a Chelsea boot. Um, this shoe introduced me to my love of like uh, just skinny shafts on boots. They just look good. Damn, do I wanna give these away? Just the silhouette of these boots. And I love how narrow they feel like on the foot as well. If this is, do I wanna give it a <laughs> I haven't put them on in a minute cause it's been hot lately. And so we'll see. Even though I got those boots maybe two years ago, I wanna say that they are probably available right now, brand new, if you wanted to buy them. This is a pair that I actually featured in a sneaker haul last year. And they are the gray and white, vast gray and white uh, Nike Dunks highs. They're fine, I just don't like, I wish there was more contrast between the white and the gray, because I feel like it basically looks like it's a white shoe, but it's not a white shoe. So it's kind of hard to style these because with most grays, it doesn't, this this against actual gray does not make this look gray. It just looks really pale. But when you put it with white, it looks off. And so I find a hard time styling these the shape is also a little bit different than what i'm used to basically if i'm gonna go chunky i'm gonna go chunky if i'm gonna go narrow i'm gonna go narrow and there's pretty much no in between whereas i feel like these are in between the height of these is also awkward in my opinion um so these are most likely gonna get sold but they did please me while i did have them they did do what they needed to do I actually changed out the laces these are more of like a heather gray lace um compared to the the silver kind of gray laces that they came with so unfortunately like even though i think that summertime is the perfect time to bring this a shoe like this out i just don't think i'm going to be wearing it that often just because the colors are weird the colors are just weird if there's anything in my closet that i just don't like i don't love it i don't wear it i just find that it just takes up space for things that could potentially fill that void unfortunately on her way out is also are all Kanye shoes Yeezys? Or is Yeezy... Another reason why I probably should get rid of them. I don't have the education to keep them. I don't really know what I was thinking when I bought these. I thought that these shoes were going to be more of like a proper brown, but they're more like gray brown. And the shape is just not there. Like the silhouette of these is weird like it's a fairly like unstructured shoe so there's not like a lot of shape to it but at the same time some parts of the shoe are like the all the trim on the shoe so all of this here is like a thicker padding 
and then also here's a thicker padding the gum is a little oversized and so the toe box also looks slightly kind of like uh, wide or bulbous but the rest of the shoe is really thin i don't understand how this shoe works and they're just not the most flattering on my foot i feel so these have to go this color is like when you take a shower and you fall asleep and you don't put lotion on this is kneecap ash this is out the shower kneecap ash brown let's go ahead and do these this is a weird shoe bro this is a really weird shoe that converse actually sent me this is a funky little shoe it kind of reminds me of a bowling shoe and unfortunately i really tried to style these they just don't work with my clothes like they just don't work with my clothing as cool as these shoes are this is actually a collaboration between brain dead and converse and converse along with new balance and adidas do some of the best collaborations i like nike collaborations too but i just feel like the adidas collaborations uh tend to lean a bit more creative aside from that prada one this was a really cool collab, super funky, super different, very much, you know, out of the box and giving you something very different. It just doesn't work for my closet, man. I really try to make these work for my wardrobe. It just doesn't though. And so sadly, I have to let these go. They come with black and green laces, which is really nice. Um, so you can like kind of customize it how you want. So Converse sent me 11 pairs of shoes out of nowhere no email i didn't know it was coming my um my agency at the time they were like hey converse wants to send you this send us your sizes and so i sent them my sizes and they sent me like hella shoes but my issue was like sometimes when you just hit me up so that i can choose the shoes because if i can choose the shoes myself then i will choose ones that work with my clothes but you know i didn't get to choose this time around and so and so I found that I was getting shoes that were really cool. But unfortunately, because of the fact that I didn't get to choose them, I feel like some of the colorways just some of the colorways just don't really work or, you know, some of the silhouettes aren't for me. You know, I'm just picky when it comes to clothes and shoes in general. And so another pair of Converse that Converse sent me are a part of the Converse Comme des Garçons, the play line and these are a low top pair in gray with the red hearts going all over such a cute shoe once again i'm not much of a low top wearer um and i just think that these are better suited for someone whose style leans more in this direction i like these which makes this so sad because like I like these, they just don't work with my wardrobe. And so I, I don't have a lot of storage space in my apartment. So I kind of have to get rid of stuff that I don't wear. Otherwise I would just keep these strictly because I just think that they're cute. Moving on to a pair of Adidas. I did a video with Buzzfeed where we had to recreate outfits from like queer icons. And I chose, or one of the people that I chose was Freddie Mercury. And if you know, Freddie Mercury, then you know he used to wear the Adidas Sambas with a nice kind of like dad jean quite often. And so that's why I have these um, was for that video. Basically a prop at this point. Um, another pair of low tops I gotta go just because the low tops, I just don't like, they be making my feet look like pills. I just don't like low tops because they make my feet look weird. I'm, I already have skinny feet, and so I feel like low tops just make my feet look like little, like, like cat food, like little pellets or like something like that. I don't know. Um, but these are such an iconic shoe. I was actually trying to get Jaden to keep them because I think that would, they would look really cute on her. And I did actually style her up with these in a video that we posted probably last year, um, and I will link that in the description or somewhere up here in the eye. But an iconic shoe such a cute shoe and i actually have the adidas gazelles and i find that those are a slightly more chunky silhouette than these because these are a little too like flat on the bottom for me for one but two they're just a little too small and i find that the gazelles are just like a slightly beefier version than like this model it's so sad too because these are such good summer sneakers that i'm just not wearing but 
I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Converse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girl. Don't take me off that list, though. Just email me next time so I can let you know what's good. This is a pair of golf um, Tyler the Creator's collection through Converse. Simple, plain pair of, oh gosh, they're not that plain, um, pair of polka dot Converse. Chuck 70s, Chuck 70? Literally, the, oh, I think these are so cute. Literally, the only reason I don't wear them is because they make me look like a child. <laughs> That's it. They make me look like I am just snot nosed, uh, up to no good, terrible too. <laughs> it, it, it gives that. I just don't know if I particularly liked what it did to my look. I feel like it's just, it's a little too youthful. It's a little too childish. Not childish in a bad way, just childish in a literal descriptive way. Like this is a very childlike shoe. And so I, I, I feel that my grown ass um, looks a little ridiculous. <laughs> like when I wear these, I'm just trying to think of like, where would I be going? Where I would be like, ah, let me pull out them polka dot denim Converse Chuck 70s. You know, like I don't, it's also giving, um, what's that game? What's that game you play when you're a kid, but then you play it again when you're an adult? just because you want to touch people. What's that game where it's got the spots and you like? What is that game called? Something spot. Something spot. Whatever. That uh, gateway to sex of a game <laughs> is what these shoes remind me of. And I just have to say goodbye. I gotta say goodbye to tomorrow. Well, that's not the words, but. <sighs> we have these boots that I really overpaid for. I didn't even wait until they went on sale. I don't think I did. I just thought that it was gonna give me everything I wanted. And I think that I was into, I bought these when I was in my like Jamie Foxx um, 90s R&B singer vibe. Uh, that's when I bought these. Are they a pair of beautiful boots? Absolutely. I don't find much use for them now, mainly because I don't like Chelsea boots. I don't know why I bought these. I bought these when I knew I didn't like Chelsea boots. So that's what, that's, that's confusing. I do think that the, the, the shape of the heel is really nice. And if you see, it's like kind of it's different right up in here, comes out a little bit more and it's very blunt. And so it's like, it's a beautiful shoe. These are from Zara as well. I just feel like they age me. I don't know. They're really not that bad. I think I would just prefer if they weren't a Chelsea boot. I don't like this. This part of boots makes it look so cheap to me sometimes. Like this elastic piece where your ankle kind of sits. I don't like it. Because it's like, if the rest of the shoe is a beautiful leather, you've got a beautiful sole, and then you just have this cheap elastic, like, what is that? And then one thing I also don't like is when the leg isn't skinny enough. Why the blue got a waistband? For what? It's just kind of hard to make it versatile. So on top of the fact that I just don't really wear I don't wear professional clothing very often. I feel like this would go really well with something that's like on the smarter side, on the dressier side, the more professional side. I think this would look really great with that. Um, and even the ways that I've styled it in the past have been that way. And so this was really a shoe that I probably was only gonna wear out. And at the time, this was, I bought this at the tail end of quarantine, or no, I bought this in quarantine. So I was like, girl, where are you wearing this? Where are you wearing the shoe? So let me explain myself. I need to explain myself a bit with these Grandma Gertrude Mall Runner 14s. So, this is the shoe. On camera, it is showing up a little bit more yellow, but I promise you in real life, it's more of highlighter. Uh, it's more of like a highlighter kind of fluorescent yellow. This shoe, was supposed to be my pop of color. I enjoy a dad shoe, I enjoy a chunky shoe, I enjoy a dad aesthetic. 
these were a little too much that though like I thought these were going to have more of like a casual sh you know vibe but these genuinely feel like shoes that your Mima would throw on when she's just trying to take a few laps around the outlet mall you know like that's what these are reminding me of I did think about just transitioning these into workout shoes but they are not they're a little too chunky for me I think for when I when it comes to my workout shoes I don't need them to be chunky I prefer them not to be chunky actually but because these are a chunkier aesthetic they're just super padded on the inside and so they're kind of um like tight like they're a little tight on my foot even though they fit I just don't really I just can't really find a use for them I have never worn these they were final sale because I did get them on sale I think I got them on the end clothing sale I still think that these could serve the purposes that I meant to buy them for in someone else's closet the very very last pair of shoes that I'm going to be showing you today that I'm sending packing are a pair of blazers you know when you just when you buy something that makes a lot of sense, but it's just not working for some reason, this is that. There's no reason why these shoes shouldn't work. They're a classic silhouette. It's a classic shoe. It's not a crazy colorway. It's, it's high top like I like them. You know, not too thin, not too flat, not too chunky. This shoe should have been a no fail purchase, but of course we failed. But unfortunately, you know, like all greats, even I experienced failure. Number one, I bought these in the kid sizes, not realizing that I was doing that. And in the kid sizes or the youth sizing, um, they don't have the suede, um, what would you call it? So this suede element right here, on the adult sizes, they continue all throughout the, the toe box, like they kind of line the toe box, whereas on the youth, it stops right there. And so I find the toe box to just be ugly, uh, even though it doesn't look like anything. It's I think that the, the, the addition of the suede kind of like outlined here would just add a nice little texture where I find this to not have enough it just looks a little awkward in my opinion also i don't love that the tongue is a slightly different white than the rest of the shoe i don't know if you can see it on camera but it actually looks more it's, it's got a slight blue tint to it and so even though these are my size and even though like any outfit that i would have like i probably would have worn them today with what i'm wearing you know, any outfit that I would have worn with these would have probably still worked. It's just those little details or rather the lack of those little details that made the shoe an L for me. And so I am going to be selling these and I'm kind of sad to see them go because I really tried to make them work. There is a little bit of creasing because I tried to make them work. I tried to wear them anyways. But you know, you know when you put something on and it's just not fully you or it's like just not fully where you want it to be and I just I'm tired of forcing it I'm tired of forcing it I'm pulling out and that is it for me I hope that you enjoyed this video purging my shoes with me give me a few days uh and stay tuned to my community tab uh, I do post updates on there not super frequently but usually when I am posting it's something that you need to know okay either something got uploaded or a Poshmark uh sale has dropped uh, I got merch, other things, content, stuff like that. So stay tuned to my community tab. Also subscribe to this channel so you don't have to stay tuned to the community tab. Join my Patreon. It's only $5 a month. It helps me create content on this channel that is inclusive, that is truly helpful. Uh, I have another channel as well that my Patreon also supports. $5 a month and $10 a month if you want behind the scenes uh, vlogs. And my vlogs can be up to an hour sometimes. So if you want the exclusive content, that link will be in the description. And I will see y'all very soon in another one. Do not forget, wear what you want, wear what you like, and wear it out. Bye, girl.